We have talked about why our hair changes after chemo here on Alive. So now let's talk about what we can do about it, how we can style it. I know that for me, it's it's been a bit of a work in progress, shall we say, because I just didn't know what to do with it. So it's taken a little time to learn some new tricks, but I want to share them with you so that you'll look better, because if you look better, then you kind of feel better. So does your new post-treatment hair feel almost like you had, I don't know, a really, really bad perm? Because if so, you're not alone. This is actually really normal. And it's important that we are kind to this new, really super, sometimes very coarse, curly hair. So for starters, it's recommended that we use maybe a mild shampoo, even a baby shampoo, or you could look for products that are specifically for dry or damaged hair. Um, I know I found some by Kerastas that are specifically for relaxing the hair, although I must admit, you can just relax it so much. And also, when you're shampooing the hair, they say that you can actually massage your scalp in order to increase the circulation to your roots, and also it's just to remove any dry or flaky skin. But after I wash my hair and I condition my hair, um, I then, you know, use a big thick towel and kind of like dry it off a little bit, and then I blow it dry. And I do know that we're supposed to dry it on low heat. I'm a little bit of an instant gratification girl, so I might use a little higher heat. But warning, warning, it's so short that sometimes when, it, when you have it on a high heat, you can really burn your scalp. And especially if you try using a straightener, because I did today, can you tell? I've gotten this kind of straightened out. But it's really easy to burn yourself, so be careful. Now, if you're going to be blowing it out, there's a lot of different products. I think this one's by Shuamura. That you, I just want to show you, show you what it looks like. It's just kind of a, it's a, a styling cream, a very light one. Here's another one by Warren Trichomi. That's a series of salons, and you'll see that this one, this is a little bit more of a cream, but what it is is it's a smoothing gel. So you can look for things that can kind of smooth it out, and then when I'm all done. They said, so use some kind of a styling wax, which the first thing I did is I ran downstairs and stole what I bought for my 10-year-old and my 12-year-old son. However, this is pretty thick. Like you literally have to melt it in your hands. And then I found something, this is called OSIS Plus. I got it online. But you'll see that it's a little, it's a little, um, more creamy and not that really like hard wax. Uh, that one definitely gives you the style back. But watch this. I just put this in my hands and I kind of do this. I'm kind of going for that little bit of a punked out look. Can you do that when you're in your 60s? Well, I am. Anyway, when you're styling your hair, be gentle because if you brush it really, really hard, you can actually break it off a little bit because it's still brittle. It's from all the chemo. And if you're running out of patience with your chemo hair, you can always just try cutting it shorter. I just keep trimming it a little tiny bit so that it's more manageable until, I don't know, until what? Um, I just remembered to keep it kind of um, short but not too short because when you get it really short, you have to remember it's still going to be very curly, even if you use one of these smoothing gels or any kind of a mousse. I haven't found anything that really straightens it out. But again, they say in about six to 12 months that most of the chemo will be out of our system and therefore the chemo curls should be gone. Some people say they're still left with hair just a little bit curlier than they ever had before. Uh, but in the meantime, you can try out some new hairstyles with your short hair. I gotta tell you, my husband really likes this, it this way. He says, you don't ever have to grow, out, grow it out again. And I don't know. I gotta tell you, I'm kinda liking it. So try and enjoy your new hair. It is another mark of surviving breast cancer.